Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermaltake Pure Power 350 Watt Fanless Heat Pipe Cooling Power Supply. Included in this package are four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a user's manual, a power cable, and the power supply. This particular product has a wattage of 350, which is enough power for most of today's computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 200 watts and the 12 volt is 168 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM fans, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt is 16 amps, the plus 5 volt is 22 amps, and the plus 12 volt is 14 amps. This product is very unique and completely silent. It doesn't have any fans, and it doesn't need them because it has these copper fins that are on each side. They are connected to copper heat pipes, which in turn go to the inside of the power supply being connected to heat sinks. So the heat will start on the inside of the power supply, be radiated by some of the heat sinks that are on the inside. The remainder will be transported through the heat pipes to the outside copper fins, and that will dissipate the remainder of the heat. Now it's very important with any of these power supplies that do not require any fans to have very good case air circulation. That is a must. This end is outside of the case and has the power switch and the power cable gets connected here. There are lots of leads and they are all sleeved. This will cut down on all that cable mess and increase airflow inside the case. Here is the main 20 and 4 pin motherboard leads, 9 4 pin standard bollocks connectors, 2 floppy, and 2 serial ATA. While this power supply is only 350 watts, it does offer quality, efficient power. It also looks great. It has aluminum housing. Those heat pipes, the fins will keep it all cool. Now, as I mentioned before, make sure if you're buying a solid power supply to have great air circulation inside the case. Otherwise, it possibly could overheat. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.